In this guide, I will cover 5 hidden iPhone tips and tricks that I bet you don't know. First up is a quick way to create calendar events. Generally, to add an event, you open the calendar app, find the date you want to add the event to and manually enter all the details. But did you know there's a far quicker way to add calendar event that doesn't even require you to open the calendar app? To quickly add an event on your iPhone, swipe down anywhere on the home screen to launch Spotlight and type the event name, date and time. For example, I will type meeting with Mia on 14 December at 3 pm. As you can see, Spotlight gives me the option to add that event to my calendar directly from here. Sometimes we accidentally block a contact on iPhone or want to remove someone from our blocked contact list, but we don't know how. Well, there's an easy way to see all your blocked contacts on iPhone. Go to Settings, Privacy and Security and Blocked Contacts. Tap on it to reveal the list of phone numbers and email addresses you have blocked on your iPhone. You can swipe right to left on a contact to easily unblock it. If you live inside your Apple Notes, you will love this one. If you have hundreds of notes like I do, it might become difficult to navigate between them. To make this easier, Apple added a recent notes section that allows you to switch between your recently opened notes easily. To access your recent notes, open any note and tap the three dot menu in the top right corner. Now tap the recent note item to reveal your recently opened Apple notes. This gives you a quick way to switch between notes without going through the whole navigation. For a long time, there was no way to customize the snooze time for your alarms on iPhone. With iOS 26.1, you can finally do this. Launch the clock app on your iPhone and tap on alarms. Open the alarm you want to customize, then tap snooze duration. From there, you can adjust the snooze time to any interval between 1 and 15 minutes. The lock screen camera swipe gesture is great, but it also means that you accidentally launch the camera app a lot. Thankfully, you can turn off this gesture completely in iOS 26.1. To do this, go to Settings, Camera and scroll to the bottom. Now toggle off lock screen swipe to open camera setting and you are done. And that's it, 5 hidden iPhone tricks most people have never seen. Before you go, click here to learn about 5 iPhone annoyances and how to fix them. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.